One of the funniest clips I've seen this week has to be this one from MSNBC where they asked a voter who he voted for, and I don't think they were expecting this answer. I don't see it as plausible, but I want to talk to, let's, we have a voter out here. Right. Sir, you're gonna, you were watching, so you're going to be on television now. Can you tell us who you voted for? <laughs> Donald John Trump. You voted for Donald John Trump? Yeah. Look at that. He Bernie Sanders is not appealing to you? The whole ideology, ideology would be destructive to the country. It's anti-growth, it's anti-family, it's anti-American, and as a Roman Catholic, it's anti-life. You dropped this, King. King, you dropped this. Man, that was classic. We'll talk about the Democrats in a second, but Trump gained more votes in New Hampshire than pretty much any president in modern history. And if you stop listening to media, it's really not that hard to figure out why. Politics is a circus or a really dumb TV show where Donald Trump is the only funny character. Go check out his Twitter from last night. Elizabeth Warren, sometimes referred to as Pocahontas, is having a really bad night. I think she is sending signals that she wants out. Calling for unity is her way of getting there, going home, and having a nice cold beer with her husband. <laughs> Referring to her very poor attempt at trying to have a viral video drinking a beer at home. Boot Edge Edge, Boot Edge Edge, is doing very well tonight, giving crazy Bernie a run for his money. Very interesting. Impeachment King Tom Steyer, how did that work out? Spent $200 million and got less than 1% of the vote in Iowa and only 3% of the vote in New Hampshire. Could it be that something is just plain missing? Not easy to do what I did, is it? I mean, love him or hate him, he's hilarious, so let's just have fun since it's a giant circus. And let's hope Shadow Inc. doesn't run the election in November. Here's the thing with me, I don't mind being kind, compassionate, loving, and peaceful, that's all great, but what I'm seeing on the Democratic side is just plain fake. All of these politicians who call Trump racist for his immigration policy actually had the same exact immigration policy as he did, even Amy Klobuchar. I do believe that we need more resources at the border and that that includes a fence. What we have now, we have people waiting to come in legally. Thousands of people waiting to come in legally to this country, and we have people coming in illegally. That's not right. We need to get order at the border. But we also have to stop giving amnesty to companies that are hiring illegal immigrants. Under this administration, the number of prosecutions of companies has gone way down. That has to change. I mean, what she just said there was basic common sense and somebody who wants to get something done. It's really simple. I don't think she had this revolutionary awakening where she figured out a better new strategy. I think she's afraid of the social justice warrior political correct mob and just wants to be like every other Democrat and just pander, 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 pander and apologize for how she used to act when people didn't act so deranged. It's not just her, Bernie Sanders on H-1B visas used to be stronger and more right-leaning than Trump. Also, that gets us to the immigration issue. If poverty is increasing and if wages are going down, I don't know why we need millions of people to be coming into this country as guest workers who will work for lower wages than American workers and drive wages down even lower than they are right now. And if you think Trump's immigration policy is bad, wait till you see this video of virtually every politician saying exactly what he said. We simply cannot allow people to pour into the United States undetected, undocumented, unchecked, and circumventing the line of people who are waiting patiently, diligently, and lawfully uh, to become immigrants in this country. Our message absolutely is don't send your children unaccompanied uh, on trains or through, uh, through a bunch of smugglers. We don't even know how many of these kids don't make it and may have been waylaid into sex trafficking or killed because they fell off a train. We have no way of tracking that. Our administration has moved aggressively to secure our borders more by hiring a record number of new border guards, by deporting twice as many criminal aliens as ever before. We need to try to incentivize Mexico to do more. We are also a nation of laws. It is wrong and ultimately self-defeating for a nation of immigrants to permit the kind of abuse of our immigration laws we have seen in recent years. If they've committed transgressions of whatever kind, they should be obviously deported. We will try to do more to speed the deportation of illegal aliens who are arrested for crime. Illegal immigration is wrong, plain and simple.
until the American people are convinced that we will stop future flows of illegal immigration, we will make no progress on dealing with the millions of illegal immigrants who are here now and on rationalizing our system of legal immigration. When we use phrases like undocumented workers, we convey a message to the American people that their government is not serious about combating illegal immigration. So I'm not one to say, oh my God, everybody on the left wing is this, or everybody on the right wing is racist. I'm not one of those groupthink type of people. But to be honest, to me, and I understand everybody has their own perspective, there's almost nothing that anybody on the left wing can do for me anymore because everybody's buying so hard into political correctness and everyone's afraid to be honest. The only semi-honest liberal that I could really think of right now that fights against political correctness is Joe Rogan. And he got so much backlash and so much heat from progressives, SJWs, liberal establishment media, that he doesn't even want to talk about politics barely anymore. And I'm sorry, it's not out of kindness and compassion and love because I believe in all those things. I think we should evolve and get kinder, but it's becoming weakness, naive, fakeness. It's just totally inauthentic because obviously there's a conversation to have about border security, immigration, illegal immigration. And I know that these Democratic politicians know because they used to all say it 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. So now, because they think it's popular to be politically correct, they are becoming very anti-family, anti-certain races in the name of stopping racism, totally deranged with their activism in the name of feminism. And I believe in strong and powerful women and helping them, but what they're doing is just not that. It really isn't. And what I think we're going to see this election, but we could find out, is that political correctness and appeasing the crowd isn't really as popular as they think. I think they're losing millions of lifelong Democrats. I think they've already lost the working people to the right wing when the left wing really used to have that with unions and teachers and stuff. And I really think when push comes to shove, instead of blaming America, Russia, and everybody under the sun, I think one of the number one things that's causing this is the fake phony pandering just doesn't seem to be working anymore. People like somebody who's funny, blunt, maybe they make mistakes, say some mean things sometimes, but you know they're being their authentic self instead of just purposely being a shell of what they once were just to try to pretend like they're not racist or sexist when everyone's gonna still call them racist or sexist. Bernie Sanders has spent his whole life doing social justice and pandering to the social justice warriors and he still gets called racist and sexist by other politicians in the media. So it doesn't matter. You might as well just be like a strong comedian and say what you think is true. That's my thoughts on the whole dynamic of what's going on, but we'll find out in November. Let's see how this video ages. God bless you, God bless America, God bless your family, and God bless the world. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate everyone supporting on Patreon and Facebook supporters as well. I love you guys and appreciate it a lot. I'll be back with more videos soon. Let me know what you think in the comment section and try to be nice and respectful to people in the comments. Don't go too crazy. Have a good one.